Hi, my name is Charlotte Lewin and I'm a Head of Geography here at Homer Green Senior School and I'm here today just to tell you a little bit about what we study here over your years with us. In Year 7 we study several different topics starting with Blue Planet which a lot of children find really interesting. Obviously there's a lot of documentaries linking to Blue Planet with David Attenborough etc so it's a nice start to the geography um, as a subject as you may have not studied it in particular depth at primary school. So we start by looking at the continents, different countries, different oceans, and just gauging exactly what you already know. Moving on from that, we start thinking about the coasts. We're lucky here in the UK to have beautiful coastlines, which many of you I'm sure have visited, but we look a little bit more into what we have here in this country and how it comes to look the way it does. It, the, the next one is depleting resources. So we start to think about exactly what we need to think about moving forward with managing our resources here in this country and what we as a human population can do to conserve and protect them. Then thinking about extreme expeditions, uh, looking at rainforests and deserts and cold environments too. And then Bollywood Dreams, which is about the slums of Mumbai and then finishing the year with a deci decision-making exercise over um, an issue that um, we have previously researched. Last year it was linked to uh, the building of a reservoir and the, the class had to take on the role of different stakeholders and there was a lot of debating and different presentations um, over the different viewpoints of that. After year eight, you have chosen your option. Um, so then the GCSE course begins in year nine. The new GCSE course is very broad, very uh, varied, uh, that covers a wide variety of physical and human geography. It's no longer just about rocks and rivers, which we get a lot of parents say to us that they remember about geography when they were at school. It's far more political, it's far more kind of futuristic, thinking about sustainable um, aspects of, of what we have to think about now and how uh, the world around us is forever changing. So the first topic in year nine is called challenge of resource management. So that links to one of the topics that we study in year seven, bringing it forward, bringing it into a bit more of a sophisticated concept, thinking about how we manage food, water and energy here in the UK, and then thinking about how global food supplies are actually managed and how vulnerable different countries make themselves by relying far too much on importing and exporting their goods. Next, we move on to physical landscapes in the UK. So again, celebrating the fact that here in the UK, we have some very, very interesting and unique landscapes. We focus primarily on rivers and coasts there, but again, moving up from Key Stage 3 to that GCSE level. Next, we look at urban issues and challenges. So our, the UK is full of cities and full of different structures of society and that brings with it its own challenges thinking about sustainability thinking about people having to live together thinking about managing the growing numbers of people that choose to live in the same place and for that we focus on the city of manchester here in the uk and then compare that to the city of um, mumbai um, next we move on to year 10 uh, where we think about uh, challenge of natural hazards being the first topic again thinking about earthquakes and volcanoes, uh, focusing mainly on earthquakes as our case studies. Um, we look at one that happened in Nepal in 2015 and one that happened in Italy in 2009. But as they happen around the world, we try to feed in um, the most up-to-date case studies for you to use. Then we move on to climate change, which is obviously at the forefront of um, global discussion. It's on the news all, the, all of the time. So actually, it's a really, really relevant GCSE. And with climate change, we look at how extreme weather is changing how that's influenced by possibly our actions and how it's actually influenced as well by natural phenomenon. And then you get to make your decision about who you think is really to blame. Um, then I move on to thinking about exams. So how students perform here at Homer Green. Um, so for the last couple of years, A-level has been fantastic. We've had 100% pass rate in, in A-level last year. We had 72% um, A star to C, so very, very proud of that. Um, at GCSE, we have a large cohorts of students that pick geography every year. So um, we're pretty much in line with national average um, annually and then um, all students make progress in line with their targets as well. So we have a positive progress rate. In year eight, you have to choose your GCSE options and over 70% of the cohort pick us as one of their option subjects. So that's a really nice compliment to us as a geography team. And finally, um, a catchphrase that we like to, to use sometimes, without geography, that you're nowhere. Um, literally, this subject is about the future. It's about the, the world around you, um, decisions that have to be made and decisions that actually may one day be on your shoulders to make. Finally, thinking about uh, trips. Um, we do run the trip in year eight uh, to the River Chess. 
And then um, years nine, 10, 11, we try to run um, a series of day trips where possible because with the large cohorts of students, we have to make it um, achievable for everybody. So we definitely run the day trips to Epping Forest and the Olympic Park each year. And then if you do continue your studies in geography up to A-level in year 12, we collaborate with the history and politics department and take students to New York, which is very exciting. So that's all from the geography department. Thank you very much.